bad play. He brought it back down, knew where his check was, flipped it out to the flat, and got a two-yard completion out of it. In the Wildcat, Vickers will roll out to the 33-yard line, but what happens here? We have a whistle. Bakersfield. So a timeout charge to Bakersfield College. We will stay here. Home game next week, Coach. I need to find out what our theme is going to be. Six o'clock kickoff. What should be a beautiful evening in Bakersfield. Weather's supposed to peak a little bit earlier in the week. It should be nice and cool. Welcome in L.A. Harbor. L.A. Harbor, I remember playing baseball against them up at Jerry Collis Field. They had like 12 relievers. <laughs> they could have gone the entire game with just relief pitchers. These guys were just throwing BBs at us. Vickers from the Wildcat struggles but then collects himself, and Derek Vickers punches his way into the end zone. Boom! Touchdown, Renegades bobbled the snap and just took a beeline to the front pylon. Touchdown, Renegades. Great job of running through an arm tackle in the backfield. And once Vickers gets to that second level, bursts through. Safeties weren't able to converge. The smooth transition, one of the things that I talked to Coach uh, Carl Dean about this week is that I was really impressed so far with what they were able to do as far as the transition into the Wildcat quickly. Earlier in the game, they had that little bobble on the motion at the mesh point. There, Vickers secured it, faked it to Tomlin going across the formation and ran in for the touchdown. PAT team's on the field. Kick is up. It's up and it's good. So the Renegades score. We'll take a quick break back in a moment. Under three to go. Renegades trail 38-7. Renegades score. John Farron, you got to get a shot of my true love coming over the Inland Empire Mountains over there. Oh, my goodness. Ow. Look at that. That beautiful full moon. It's been full for 24 hours around the world. And the Renegades get a nice score. And the ball taken at the 13-yard line. He runs back across the field, and they tried this before. This time the Renegades get it, and, and, and Kirk, correct me if I'm wrong, it, and we see the run back there by... Um, Malik Holcomb, and he comes over here and he almost kind of sets it all up intentionally to reverse it, or did he just run out of space? No, I think he ran out of space okay. and didn't like what he saw because it was a little bit too slow developing. If it was, he would try to go faster to get everybody to converge on him like he was going to be able to break it, but great coverage. And one of the things that I knew Coach Judy would have this week is much better special teams, and they have been pretty good tonight besides the two bob bobbled snaps by the punter. But for the most part, they've covered kicks and kicked much better tonight. Okay, here come... The Tigers. John, thank you for my moonshot. Hand off. Between the hash marks, hard, hard running Allen. And another helmet pops off one of our renegades. And are they going to say he has to go off, or did it pop off, or did he take it off? No, nope, they're going to say he's got to go way off. It, yeah, either way, it has to happen. Though. Okay, for a minute, he looked at the ref like, really? Do I got to go? I got to go? Yes, you have to go. Tyler Eddington comes in, the freshman from East High. 